Hi everyone, John here, and it's the 18th of March. Um, I thought, well, it's been raining hard a lot, and it? We've had all them weeks and months of rain, and uh, I haven't been able to do anything with the bees, so uh, that's why you haven't seen me for a while. So <laughs> here we are again, and uh, what we're going to do now is um, go up to the farm and have a look at the wild bee colony cutout and see if them bees are still alive. I know it's a very small nucleus and it could easily have died out, but my ambition for this uh, little uh, excursion would be to find the queen, mark it if I can find her, and um, see what's happening in, within the nuke. Probably what I would do in a week or two uh, will be add some capped brood from another hive what I've got next to the nucleus. Uh, you'll see that when we go up there. But before we go, um, we might have a little look in Queen Azalda's hive, the hive behind me here in the garden, and just to see whether they are eating the pollen pate that I put in a couple of weeks ago. Here we go then, so I hope you enjoy the video and um, hope everything goes well for me. And the, and the wild bee colony cut out is still alive and we find the queen. Here we go then, let's go. <laughs> well, it'd just be interesting to see whether or not they're doing anything with the pollen pate I put on. Right, so there's a bit of feed that I'll put on there. I'm not interested in that, they must have enough coming in the door. We'll have a look to see if they're eating these pollen pate. Oh, look at that. Oh, dearie me. They're really on that, eh, mate? Have a look at that. Let's go in a bit closer. Through. I'll um, focus it in, look, focused in, and look at how they've they've munched away at this pollen pate that all around there. They haven't started on that one, but they've hit sort of half of that. Oh, look, they really do look in good condition, these bees coming, you know, out of winter. Uh, I'd say they're going to be fine. I'll be able to take, in a week or two, I'm going to take some brood from that hive and put in the nucleus if it's still alive. We'll go up there now. I don't want to open this up just yet, but we'll go up to the other hive and have a look in there. I'd say it's probably um, died out this little nuke, but we'll have a look inside. It's um, almost certainly died out, I'd say, because there were so few bees in here. There's some bees in here. <laughs> If there's a queen in it, which I don't expect there is, there's a few bees. I can easily put some. I can easily put some uh, brood from the hive next to it, and to build this up now. But of course, that's as long as there's a queen in there.
There's a really tiny few amount of bees in here as you can see. See if we can see a queen. Uh, can't see eggs on there so can't see no eggs look on this frame enough small bees Lynn mm, tiny aren't they it's very nice there she is you found her Oh, well done, yeah. Need to hold it. Hold it. Right. Right, here's the queen, then. See? we just got a... Got an air in there, look, we're just going to mark her in there with a white dot. Yeah, like that. Keep her safe. Yeah, she's in there now. Um, she's marked, see, now with a white dot. I've done a white dot because it's, uh, I don't know what year the Queen is. What we're going to do now is we have a look, see if we've got any eggs in here, which I'm sure she's laying. Yeah, there's all eggs in there, Lynn. Mm. So that queen is laying. We haven't got a lot of bees in here, though, as you can see. Where's the... Where is she? There she is. There's not a lot of bees in here, but there's a bit of nectar there, Lynn. What I'm going to do now is, on a nicer day, I'm going to take some bees from the hive next to me and put in here. paint is dried. We'll get the queen out again. Now she's on my hand look. There's the queen and then it's running in there let's see. Some of this fondant on there. Mm -hmm. Bit of fondant for them to eat as well. This is quite nice pollen and uh, sugars and all that in there. It's nice and soft, so it'll be easier for them to eat.
this hive here which I'll put on the stand uh, in January I went up to the end track where I had this hive and it was the one that I bred from last year and I moved it here next to this stand next to this other nuke so now I'm going to get one frame of brood out of this hive and put in with the nuke see if I can help boost their numbers I did pop a sign on this hive you know keep dogs away live bees because sometimes people go for walks through the farm and that and uh, take the dog and they don't realize that dogs come up sniffing the bees and then they get stung so then the owners get angry at the bees so I'll give them prior warning keep your dogs away that's quite a good idea I think I made that sign myself and um, you know I think it it's done quite well because I've got cameras up and, and I have seen people read it and walk away with the dog so it's been working.